The world of molecular biology is a fascinating one. The question scientists have asked for well over a hundred years is, can brain cells be replaced or can new brain cells be grown? Let's look at some of the current research that reflects what's happening with Parkinson's. The University of California at San Diego has been doing some cutting edge research. What I've attempted to do here today is to give you a summary of a one hour presentation done at UCSD uh, recently at the beginning of the summer. It covers years of research into genetic treatments to see if we can regrow neurons that have been damaged by Parkinson's. Dr. Irene Litvin is the director of the UCSD Parkinson's Movement Disorder Center. She explains the entire process required to develop new drugs, and that's part of what this research is about, to make it into the bodies of those who suffer from Parkinson's. We then hear from Dr. Fu, a key member of the team, about the groundbreaking ability to make new healthy neurons that can replace those lost in Parkinson's disease. And we learn about their vision to turn their discovery into a life-changing therapy. He explains how Parkinson's disease equals a loss of dopaminergic neurons in their synapses. And current techniques for managing those symptoms include L-DOPA supplements, otherwise known as Cinemet, and deep brain stimulation. Here's the question. When impacted neurons no longer function or die, as is the case in Parkinson's, can one make new neurons to replace them? The original idea was proposed by Dr. Santiago Ramoni Cajal that no, it could not happen, that these cells were irreplaceable. What we've discovered since then is that lost body parts, including new neurons, can be regenerated in lower organisms, such as the picture of this hydra below. He then introduces us to the remarkable astrocyte. Astrocytes are the most numerous cell types within the central nervous system. That means the brain and spinal cord. And they perform a variety of really important tasks. He explains that astrocytes help create neurons with the help of certain genes and certain chemicals in the brain. He explains that in the magic of genetic engineering, they've been able to get this to work in mice as well, where they've created Parkinson's in mice and have been able to reverse it in their brains. I mean, that's a remarkable, remarkable accomplishment. And to make his point, he shows a video of how a newt or salamander can regenerate lost limbs. Dr. Cleveland, another member of the team, explains the concept of designer DNA. Yep, designer genes. Designer genes lead to designer DNA drugs. And those new drugs convert astrocytes into neurons or brain cells. And the new brain cells are also more disease resistant. And that is resistant to Parkinson's. How long do these new designer drugs work? Well, the amazing thing is that a single dose will last for more than three months. Think of that, three months. Proof of principle was achieved in 2015. It's now six years later. The most frequent cause of inherited Parkinson's is in the mutation of the LARC2 gene. Here you see Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google, awarding a prize to Dr. Cleveland. Now, Sergey Brin also has the LARC2 gene. We're now in phase one clinical trials using the new DNA designer drugs. We've had enormous progress since 2011. Clinical trials are continuing and there's an enormous amount of hope for the future. 
I hope this summary has whet your appetite and you want to learn more. The link to the original presentation is in the YouTube description below. This was the presentation of the Parkinson Network of Mount Diablo.